Man, the workouts are actually kind of funny. Like, we're close, but we never talk. Not in the gym. Like, I'll correct something or I'll teach something. But other than that, it's just, man, it's, it's almost awkwardly quiet most of the time we're together. Unless we're playing 2K. Then it gets real. And I'm not even that good. I mean, he'll tell me, like, yo, you need to go play my, my baby sister or something, you know, to get my game up. But, and like, when it comes to, like, being on the court in between that 94.50, it's like no games are being played at all. Edge happens on the screen. You want to come down like you're using it. You want to bounce off just a little bit. You want to hide the ball. You want to try to get your hips downhill so you can attack this head. So you come here using the screen. Boom. Hide the ball. Get your hips downhill so you can attack the head. Okay. Boom. Here comes. Yeah. So you're going to try to turn your hips. Turn those hips so you can attack downhill. I've been working with Peyton since Peyton was in the seventh or eighth grade. I never would have guessed that he'd have committed to Vanderbilt. He's like a thin, wiry kid. He could shoot it, but he wasn't very aggressive. Uh, he could get he could get buckets, but you know he didn't really like to play on both ends of the floor. But now all of that's changed. Going into the summer, a lot of mid-majors had to offer Peyton. So a few majors were flirting with him, but he didn't really have uh, like quite the look I feel like he was looking for. Then he went to Chris Paul's tournament in Vegas. Had a pretty good tournament. Had a damn good tournament. And he got that call from Vanderbilt to put an offer on the table. And when mom called me and told me, like I knew, I knew he hadn't committed yet, but I knew. Like it was, it's almost like he's been uh, inundated with, with Vandy ever since we started training. I graduated from Vandy. I talk about Vandy basketball all the time. I worked for the women's team when I was there. And so I, like, I even wear Vandy gear a lot. Still have a lot of old stuff. And uh, like I said, when he got that call, he didn't make his decision off the top, but I figured, I knew. Something deep down in me said like, that's it. The better the player is, the better they push you to be as a coach or a trainer because they demand more. So you can't come into the gym with players that are pretty good and just wing it. Like you have to know what you're doing. You have to have a plan for what's going on. They have to understand why they're doing it and you have to be able to tell them why it can help them. Payton's always been receptive of anything I've told him when it comes to that. Rescreen, rescreen, re re good. Peyton and I have this unbreakable bond. In a way, it's like we're brothers. Brothers pushing each other past the limit as coach and player. To me, the road is more than about making him a collegiate athlete. It's about building character and growing as men. I know that the future is bright. Hard work and consistency have gotten us here. And if we stick to the formula, I know that everything will fall into place. <laughs>